Okay, so hello and welcome back to another JavaScript Discord bot tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be doing a request from someone who asked to make a kind of faction system so that the server might have three factions, for example. And when someone joins, it picks them a random faction to be put into. And then maybe they get a message saying, you know, you're in this faction or whatever. And then you, you can build on it from there. So first of all, we need to actually make some uh, roles quickly. So I'll just quickly add uh, faction one, save. I'll give them colors in a second. Faction 2 and Faction 3. You'll obviously name these whatever you want. Make sure they all have different colors, obviously. Um, whatever. Okay, so we have three more roles now. And we want it so that when someone joins, it gives them a random one. That's basically it. Um, and then we might have it so that, uh, for example, it'll be better if on the side for these roles you had it so it said um, display role separately like this so that um, then when you're in one of these roles on the side it'll show uh, that you're in that particular thing for me it won't work because I'm in the owner role uh, and then this bot is also owner but I'll, I'll show you rather than because I can't join my own server again what I'll do is I'll just do what I did last time and I'll make the same code in the message thing so that I can kind of call it uh, instead of when I join but anyway, as we remember from last time, this is what happens when we join the server, this, this function here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that um, instead of giving them the member role, what we're going to do is we're going to have um, let, and we'll just say um, faction one equal this, and we'll call, we'll want it to find faction one like that. And then um, I'll just copy that. So we've got our three factions now. Um, so now it has reference to these uh, three roles. We we have reference to these three roles here. Um, so we, yeah, we're going to send them welcome to the server. Um, we could do this afterwards, doesn't really matter. So yeah, we have reference in these three variables to the three roles and we want to pick a random one. So what we can do is we can say um, var um, we don't want to call it role. We'll say we'll say let um, I don't know chance equals uh, math dot floor and then in brackets math dot random multiplied by three. So this can be zero, one, or two. So we've now got chance, and then we want to say um, what do we also want to do? So now that I've got a number, we'll say like if um, chance is equal to zero, do this. You could also store these in an array and then refer to the index, but I'm just going to do it this way. Uh, else, or can we do elif? No. Else if chance is equal to one, do this. Uh, and then really we can just say, you know, else do this. Um, so we'll say normally where we add their member role, uh, member dot add role, we'll say uh, member dot add role um, faction one, and then here we'll say add role faction two and faction three. Let's get rid of the member role now. Uh, we can just kind of ignore the member role, to be honest, altogether now. Um, so let's go back to the bot. Let's just delete the role for member, because, I mean, who cares? All right, so now we're going to run the bot. Well, we can't actually join. So what I'll do is I'll say, um, I'll copy it down here, like usual. So. We'll copy this part down here. We'll say if message dot content is equal to uh, faction, then we want to uh, indent all this. No, sorry, indent all of this 
the indentation's gone weird here. So if message, then we go from here to here. So it's there. We go. Sorry. So we're going to get the factions. Yep, yep, yep. Now we actually can't do member dot guild dot roles because um, I think we do message dot member. That's what I did last time. So wherever it says member in here, you want to do message dot member. You probably won't want to actually do this anyway because you're going to have it in the join function. This is just to show that it works. So if I run the bot, it's taken a while to start. Okay, bot's here. So if I say um, faction, it's giving me faction one. Let's get rid of it. Uh, faction, faction one. All right, let's just make sure it's not always going to give me faction one because it's a chance. So yep, faction three, faction three. Just want to make sure I can get them all, you know. It, it should be an even chance because it's a random number. Faction 2. There we go. So now that gives me the random faction. Obviously, when you join, that's going to get ran. Now, this is just where I'm testing it out. So that already works. Um, what else might you want to do? Instead of messaging them when they join, welcome to the server, you might want to say down here, so you could say, you know, member.send. Uh, welcome to the server. Um, you are part of the um you're part of the I don't know whatever factions would put you're part of the um alliance faction uh you must fight bravely for your I don't know where am I going with this <laughs> Do whatever you want. Uh, and you can have like a different customized message for every one. Uh, I should really be doing semicolons. Uh, it's not gonna. It will still work, but it's always best actually. Remember to do them. Alright. Uh, you're part of the other faction. Uh, you're gonna be useless. Uh, now let's just copy these down. Obviously, you would actually have member name. Uh, sorry, you would name your uh, factions the actual uh, names that you want them to be. Just remember to keep this if you're doing it like me for testing message.member. The best way to test would be, you know, to get someone, but I didn't bother getting someone to do it for me. Uh, let's stop the bot and run it again. It's ready. All right. Faction. I am now in faction two, so I should expect to be in the one that says Horde. You are part of the whole fight. You was fight bravely for other. Wait. <laughs> doesn't even doesn't even make sense anymore. Uh, but I don't care. So that's that. And then let's just do the whole thing again. So if I leave I must have got the same role again yep but as you see it works now so whenever someone joins they're gonna get a random thing and a random message I keep getting faction 2 give me a different one stop give me faction 2 why does do I keep getting faction ah. faction 3 there you go. It gives us the other message. So depending on what they get when they join, they'll get a different message. And then obviously on top of this, you could also add other stuff here. You could then send them a picture of your like banner or you could send them an embed or you could, you know, put an embed in the server showing the current list of people in a certain faction. Now this, this video is nine minutes. So let me just think of something else I could add. Uh, what else would be useful for this faction thing? Um, yeah, you could, uh, um, what else would you do about this member thing? As well as messaging them, you could also say in the announcements channel, you could say, um, uh, when they join, you could say message dot member dot channel 
Send. Um, message. Member. Author. Name. Uh, is the author the name or is it the actual? What's we'll it? Message. Member. Author. Um, plus. Uh, has. Joined. Wait. Uh, remember. Is the n newest member of faction one. Please treat them kindly. <laughs> you know, do whatever you want on your server. Then I'll just uh, do the simple copy and paste, copy and paste. And we'll say of faction two and three and then just as you'd expect if we wanted to put it up here you would do the same but you would get rid of the message thing and just put faction one uh, faction two and uh, oopsie daisy faction three oh also sorry here you want to just do member Let's have a test if this works. We'll go to Discord and we'll say, "I've got, I've got faction for you. Let's go away." Faction. Uh oh, did I break the bot? Yep. Uh, send of undefined, so it doesn't know. Okay. If I did it down here, it's online. Yeah. The member doesn't have a channel. Um, okay, so message dot member dot. What do we refer to? Um, message channel dot send. So that's message.channel.send and then this will be me member.channel. This might be a bit different actually. Um, let's let's have a look. Uh, if I run it now. Faction. Undefined as a newest member, please him kindly. Okay. So if I go back to the code, stop it. It's just message dot author. Sorry, that's my bad there. Uh, faction. And um, we've broken it again. Okay. Uh, message channel dot send. I just. Missed out full stop. See, the, these little things can make a big deal. There we go. So when I would join now, I would then tell everyone, uh, you know, Dapper Dino is the newest member of Faction 1. Please treat them kindly. And then I can just go, like, Faction. Newest member of Faction 1. See, obviously, if I already have the role, uh, then it's just... Ooh. Did I do that wrong? Um, faction... Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's get rid of this. Let's go. Faction. Ah, okay. Undefined again. Because I didn't take that out. See, there's a lot of... Um, see, so you can't have member to offer. It would just be member. There we go. Uh, no dot. Faction. Let's just make sure I've got no rolls. All right, faction. Ah, ha, we keep breaking the bot. Um, member is not defined because it's message to offer. See, if you keep plowing through and keep running it and then keep getting problems and then keep fixing it, eventually 
eventually you'll get there. Dapper Danny is the newest member of Faction 3. Yep. Yeah. Dapper Danny is the newest member of Faction 3. Yep. Yeah. I want to get a different faction before I stop. Faction 3. Yep. Yeah. Okay, please can you give me a different faction, please? Faction 1. There we go, Faction 1. And if you see, I'm being spammed for which one I'm in. So, basically, there you go. There's not much else to say. I've done this video now. It's done. Uh, there's the thing made. Here's the code for the, if you're testing it here. And then here's the code for if you're testing it when someone joins. Now, because I haven't actually had a chance to test this, if it doesn't work, please let me know. Though, if any of it's not going to work, this, this bit will work. The member.add role will work. Member.send will work member.channel I'm not sure if that'll work um, because well let me just check something uh, if I just go on to the discord.js can you do mem I'll just check if you can do it um, member.channel no it appears you can't do member.channel um, What can you do with member then? You can do member. So we're, we're referring to the person. We want to know what channel. Um, so what we need to do is we can do member dot Uh, we just need to. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. So basically, when I um, made a like server greeting thing, when someone joined the server, okay, um, you could do up here. Um, where are we? Okay, so if we want to know the the server, sorry, the uh, channel that they're in when someone joins, we can just say um, member dot guild. Uh, dot channel uh, channels dot find um, name and then what channel is it um, general so you would put this as whatever your thing's called and we could just say um, let channel or let uh, you know intro channel equals this we can pull this out because we don't need to uh, do it there so this is just referring to the um, channel so we can say intro channel dot send then we can just do this for all of them and there you go that'll work um, there we go. So that gets reference to the general channel. Now, if you wanted to do it in the announcements or whatever introduction channel, just put that general thing as the name of the channel. Make sure you case it right and everything in spaces and whatever. But anyway, that's how you refer to the channel, and then that's how you send it. So anyway, there's not much more to say. It works. If you've got any questions, leave them below. If you want to subscribe to see more of these videos or any of my other videos, then you know, feel free. Go ahead. I would appreciate it a lot. Uh, apart from that, thanks for watching, and goodbye.